calling timeout in the name of safety in youth sports programs. Legislation restricting everything from the length of practice to prohibiting checking in hockey and lacrosse is now under consideration in Annapolis. We want to minimize injury. I mean, sports are a terrific thing, and we want our kids to participate as fully as possible, and we want to make sure that when they do so, they're not risking any long-term damage. Those 14 and younger, or in the 8th grade or lower, the football season would run from August through December. Practice would be limited to 30 minutes in full contact football for a maximum of two hours each week during preseason, 90 minutes each week during the season. There would be no checking in hockey or lacrosse. It prohibits cheerleaders, 12 years and younger, from engaging in aerial stunts. Those 10 years or younger may only participate in aerial tossing one practice session per week in a season. The Flatley family from Sykesville opposes the measure. They're in Annapolis to testify against it. I think it's an intrusion into parents' rights. I think parents should have the ability to, to decide which sports their kids play. 11-year-old Patrick plays lacrosse and football. He's concerned the bill would sideline him. I'll be very sad because those are my two favorite things to do outside of um, my normal life. The bill requires young athletes to use the proper head and mouth gear. Coaches must undergo training to minimize the risk of harm. This includes removal and return to play policies and heat illness recognition. Patrick doubts his level of play would lead to a concussion. We're not too strong. We don't hit too hard and we know heads up football. The bill sponsor says this is a work in progress. She's currently working with youth organizations, coaches and trainers to further tweak the bill while it's still in committee. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.